Hello again everyone, this is Game Collector here, and if I sound different, and if the video looks different, that's because, thanks to Man in the Black Hat, I now have my very own new camera set up. So, you know, quality of videos will be slightly different from now on, sound might be different, and, you know, just general new differences in the mix. Um, but this week I have with me the Gundam Age 3 Gauging Builder System, Age 3 for G Wear Fortress Arm and G Wear Fortress Leg. There are the boxes for them. And we'll flip it around for the back of the boxes. Which generally just shows them posed, oh, posed differently. Also, yes, this new camera has a built-in zoom feature, so fun times ahead. That's the arms, I believe, or the legs. Oh no, that's the legs. And there are a couple other of the G where Siri of the uh, age three of <coughs> of the age gauging builder systems. That's the age two with the sparrow or spallow legs and fortress arms, and then one of the mass produ production mechs with the uh, Titus arms and the fortress legs. There's more of that stuff right there. And the uh, Gaging Link Haro, the Gaging Link Arcade Machine. And how the, the Gaging Link Arcade Machine works. Yeah, the, arm, the arms box is pretty much the exact same thing. Maybe a few things that are different on it, but overall it's exactly the same. Put that off to the side. And the legs came with a second core piece. The first core piece included with the... Whoa! Age 3 normal. <laughs> Sorry about that. The age 3 normal at present looks like this. So, overall, posability is exactly the same as uh, the normal. Although, those can ratchet up and down. You can do that. And you can also flip those backwards. Although, those backwards, flip those up. And that's what it looks like with its uh, cannons all flipped backwards. Or upwards, or whatever. The legs are not nearly as thin as the uh, age 3 normal, as the normal legs. They actually have a, or better yet, let me just lower the camera. Yeah, I can do that now, Wee! Oh, they can actually rotate all around. They have r double jointed ratcheting knees and ball jointed, uh, what is that, the uh, ankles. But it also has a much wider footprint. So, there's that. I don't know, I just like the Age 3 Fortress better. Although it might be because it reminds me a lot of the CeraVe. I mean, even without its guns, it has quadruple bazookas. Of 
quadzookas. But yeah, the age three fortress really does give me that same feeling that the CeraVe did. I don't know, I just, I, I am kind of a fan of bulky Gundams, especially like ones built like this, and it does give me an overall more double Zeta feel. And each one of them also came with uh, these cards here for the uh, like gauging game thing. One's blue and the other's red. I don't remember which card came with which. Gaging.com. I don't even. I, I don't even think the website still exists. Let's see if I can. Remember if it says on the box. It doesn't say on the box which came with which. So, oh well. Whatever. Came with two really nice cards. Or each one came with a card each. But, time to take it apart. Set the head off to the side. Now, we're going... I'm going to show you again. I really hate the default forms for these because they look stupid. And going to go like that. Fold the arm up. And there, there is the fortress. G Fortress mode of the fortress. Eh. So I'm going to do what I normally do. I'm going to make my own, like I did with the uh, normal. Yeah, the, that's my own made up form for the age three normal. Will that work? Hmm, I'm doing something wrong here, and, oh wait, fixed it. And tilt it down, and now it looks more like a, like a little hover tank. Probably not much better, or then again, not much worse than the bend the legs slightly and then arrange the arms properly. But if we want to make it look even more menacing, we add that on there. And now it has five guns, all with the same firepower. Yes, age uh, fortress mode take, technically takes the uh, six mass cannon and then quadruples it. And yes, this is also achievable without this corp block piece. You can do it with the default piece. Even though it looks kind of silly with the head just kind of hanging off on the bottom there. There. But still, I prefer it. Oh, come on. When it is standing upright. 
Again, I'm not entirely sure to why I like the Age 3 Fortress. I've never watched Age, and I never will, admittedly. Not because of the art style, but it just... The, I, I've read up parts of it, and it just... Revenge begets revenge thing has kind of been done to death. Anyway, this is the age three fortress with or the age three core with the age three fortress arms and legs not really much else i can say but thanks for watching i'll see you next week with something new later